And in Jackson, Councilman Kenneth Stokes is making his concerns public about a multi-million dollar school bond proposal. WJTV 12's Linnea Lewis joins us in the studio with more from Councilman Stokes and Jackson Public Schools. Linnea? Councilman Stokes says he's unsure about voting yes for a $65 million bond proposal that would make needed repairs on several Jackson schools. However, JPS says they can guarantee Stokes and citizens this bond is what's best for students and parents. If I don't feel comfortable with the answers from Jackson Public School leadership, I'm voting no. Councilman Kenneth Stokes said Thursday he's leery about voting yes for a $65 million school bond that would fix up Jackson Public Schools. He said based on the last bond issued in 2006, many schools like Lanier High School and Ward 3 were left high and dry with maintenance issues such as broken water pumps. And you're talking about safety at the school. How in the world you can have a school here have bushes, a gym, where kids could be hurt, they could be raped, robbed, anything. You got to make sure that it's a safe environment for all the schools. Stokes says he wants to make clear he's not against JPS. He just wants reassurance the district will complete every project at every school. Everything that's printed on these papers need to happen, and we need that commitment from them. Jackson Public Schools responded to Stokes this afternoon, saying this is a new bond in a new administration. Robert Luckett with the Board of Trustees says he's confident every project will be completed. Our school district has done a lot of work, the members of our district staff, to determine what our priorities are for our school district, to make sure that we meet the demands of the Mississippi Department of Education and things that we've been cited on. Luckett is optimistic citizens will find the bond beneficial and the proposal will pass August 7th. We hope people will come out and, and engage this on August 7th and support it. It really is for the best interest of our children. Stokes has a public meeting planned for July 16th at Cornerstone Baptist Church, and Luckett says the board plans to attend this meeting. In the studio, Linnea Lewis, WJTV 12. Thank you, Linnea.